All right, it is now time for another Manifestation Monday Manifestation Tip. And this one really is just a tip. Um, it's not really required, but this is something that I did when I first stepped off on my path that I truly believe helped the process a lot, okay? So one of the things that we have to understand about Law of Attraction is we are dealing with your subconscious mind. That's what we're dealing with, okay? And what we wanna do is be able to get the brain into the theta state on command. It's kind of hard to do because over time, as you grow up and get older, this metaphorical wall is being built around your subconscious mind, okay? This wall of belief systems and ideas and perceptions about different aspects of life is being built around your subconscious mind. And by the time you're 35, they say that that is when that wall is complete, okay? That doesn't mean that it's indestructible. That just means that if you're over 35, it's gonna take more work and more effort to reprogram your subconscious mind than if you're under 35. So you can go up to the uh, search bar of YouTube and type in theta brainwaves, T-H-E-T-A, theta waves, and find yourself a nice quiet spot where you won't be disturbed and there's not a whole lot of noise going on and lay back, put these in your earbuds. And it helps if you have YouTube premium too, um, just because there's no ads on the videos and you can turn your phone off, like turn the screen off and YouTube will still play. But um, yeah, and you kick back and put these theta waves in your ears, okay? There's like some of the videos will be titled manifest anything you want or whatever, but um, you know, you can tell, you can listen to the different uh, audio clips and you can feel something happening in your brain, you know, pretty heavy. What it's doing is it's taking that wall. It's taking that, that wall around your subconscious mind and vibrating it until it kind of dismantles it, you know? And you're actually forcing your brain into a meditative state in a way because a true transcendental meditative state is being able to hold being half asleep and half awake. If you ever noticed, whenever you're half asleep, that's when you get these massive information downloads, like right before you fall asleep and then you forget what it is, because that's when your brain is in the theta state. And one of the things I learned in Mind Mastery School, the first course I ever took was Meditation 101. And uh, yeah, you have to hold that state of being half awake and half asleep. Sleep is unconscious meditation. Meditation is conscious sleep. So what you wanna do is you wanna run these theta waves in your ears for an extended period of time and bring your manifestation into mind, okay? Bring it into mind and start living it as if you've been living it for a while. This is the new you. It's no longer something that's so out of reach that oh, that would be so great. And then your logical mind starts to try to pick it apart and think about it and say, okay, well, if I did this and blah, 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 that, that is what shuts up. That monkey chatter, the logical thinking brain is what is now asleep. Now that third separate part of you is able to work freely without the ego brain trying to force everything and, and try to figure it out and say, well, what if this happens? Oh, what if that doesn't happen? Uh, oh, that's not realistic. And that, that voice shuts up and goes to sleep. You are now operating from that third part of you that is behind your thoughts and your emotions. And simply bring your manifestation into mind and hold it there. And you'll notice that while you're controlling it, you kind of have very little control of it. You'll have psychic visions. I had a lot of psychic visions. You know, just let it flow. And again, this is just a tip. Uh, I don't honestly remember exactly where I got this. I th maybe a YouTube video or I read an article or something like that. But I, I was doing this for probably the first six months of stepping onto the path of uh, law of attraction and, and manifestation. And it helped me. It definitely helped me learn how to 
quiet my mind and shut up that that monkey chatter you know the the ego brain that thinks it knows what's going on it thinks it knows how to go from point a to point b and logically figure out each step that is that voice you want that out of the way okay anyway i figured i would uh, go ahead and give you all that little tip try it if you want i think it helps but again it's nothing mandatory okay anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thanks for tuning in and y'all have a good day